Albion have established an operational base in the Royal Court of Justice. Bruv, this is bollocks. With Albion in control of the courts, there's like no way for anyone to have a fair trial anymore. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation. elsewhere area clear gonna keep searching
I have bags. Talk to me. A list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here? A journalist. And this one runs a community shelter. Good God. Bar your doors. What the shit? All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. Now, let's disrupt some of Albion's propaganda and give some hope to the people. Yes, nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark that they can stand up to. If nothing else, it'll relieve their eye strain. Now what? We're already seeing results from what you've done. That list we found named a journalist in Camden who's been investigating Albion. We reached out and he's got information that can help us. I think you should meet with him. Submitted these right now. I heard you need some help. What's up? Your recruiter's been sticking it to Albion. Can't believe someone else is. Thought I was alone, right? Not doing much, just putting the word out. But you? Taking action, mate. That's how it's got to be. 
you know what I mean? Otherwise, Albion gonna get bigger and better, and then it's too late. So what's up? Almost got clipped finding this. All of Albion's operational data for the entire city. Convoy routes, surveillance targets, assets. It's all there. Thinking you can make good use of that. You bet your ass. Here's a sample. Albion's closed King's Cross to the public, right? But what people don't know is that they're using it as their logistics centre. Materials, troops, whatever. A lot of it runs through there. You want to give the people a huge boost? Hit that place. Put it out of commission and you'll severely hamstring Albion's operations here in Camden. Hell, everywhere. We've got us a plan then. Albion's operational plans are just what we needed to really get some traction. We'll have to take a close look at this. Now, how do we take King's Cross offline? Albion's housed a massive hybrid power generator in there. Output must be immense. You cause a power surge in that base and boom! How the fuck do you know that shit? You said this place was close to the public. It cost me a news drone. OK, maybe three, but it's worth it if this comes off, right? Getting to that generator ain't gonna be easy. They've locked it up tighter since I last saw. Ah, uh, the fuck do I do? My news drones are still in here. They should be functional. You can use one of them. Probably have better luck piloting it too, yeah? Well, causing a power surge in a hybrid power generator isn't like making a toasty. We're going to need detailed specifications. All right, let's check that shit out. Yo, check this out, fam. Cool, looks bloody complicated. Newsy's got a pretty functional camera. Would a picture do you, Bagley? It would indeed. According to this, there's an override code that'll get us into the generator's system. That's it. Use the code on the generator and I can trigger a power surge. It should be enough to take King's Cross offline. And the rail system too. Here we go. Line of information out of St Pancras. Albion convoys, informants, gear, you name it. Everything we need to ignite the people of London, like we did in Camden. Derail Albion's operations and give the people a reason to rise up borough by borough. The more we do that, the more we'll get allies flocking to the cause. We'll show London that DedSec is here for them. That was off the chain, mate. I knew DedSec weren't the bad guys Albion was saying. Now the rest of Camden will too. Thanks. Thanks. Now that you've shown the borough what DedSec is really all about, there are going to be folks wanting to join up. A lot of people have been looking for a way to fight back. In fact, there's one in particular I suspect will contact you very soon. I happen to know they're champion at the bit. Fuck yeah. Welcome to the party, cuz. Security. 
Well, fuck me, you're still alive. I owe been a tenor. Not only that, but your resistance handiwork just opened up a whole new source of information. So now I spy with my hypothetical eye something interesting at the Ministry of Civic Management. What is it? The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Earl Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the bleeding edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day. If you're feeling out of your depth or like you could use a breather, you can always call on your new teammates to step in. It's your call. That's the advantage of working together instead of alone. The old man's live on the scene. In theory, the AR reconstruction should allow me to use various sources of surveillance data to rebuild past events. Access a data relay and I can scrape all the metadata for this area. That's it. Now, let's take this autocratic wet dream for a test drive. CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. Fuck. The future's fucking now, blood. You're right. We definitely need this extremely cool thing I want for investigating Zero Day. Shit. For some reason, I can't clone it to our servers. All right. Access the network here, and let's see if we can't find out where to nick one. That's the CTOS up there. Aha. The SIRS has deployed this technology at their HQ, and I've just nabbed their manual on how to set up the system. Now, Scarpa, you can't steal their toy if they throw you in the gulag. Bags, bruv, I want this AR tech. What do I got to do to get it? The program is hosted on a server that's on the roof of SIRS HQ. All you have to do is grab the whole thing, then take it to a few high-density locations so I can recalibrate it to the Deadset network and clone my own version. Oh, 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 you mean I'm getting the server off the fucking roof? Yeah, bro idea. We need to find someone with access to a cargo or construction drone that can fly it off of there. Perfect opportunity to recruit a heavy lifter to the cause, I'd say. So we want a heavy lifter, innit? What does that mean? Well, let's put our thinking caps on, shall we? Now, who in London would have access to a construction drone? Could it be a construction worker? Oh, no fucking shit, Bags. Not so hard, was it? There's an active construction yard nearby. I dare say you'll probably be able to find a construction worker to recruit there. Here's the coordinates. Beastly drone friend. I mean, the person looks sufficient too.
Yo, you look like you could play a part in taking back London. Are you dead sick? Oh, thank God. I need your help. We'll see what we can do. What's up? I took a Clan Kelly loan to pay off some bills. Stupidest mistake of my life. Now, with interest, I owe triple what I borrowed, and the only way I can pay it off is by working for them. Save me from a life of being a pack animal, and I'll owe you. All right, cool. Yeah, man's got this on lock. Pat Kelly will bleed our new friend dry if we don't do something. This particular construction site is a money laundering front for a Kelly chapter out of Camden Market. Any record of the debt would be stored there. Yeah, got it. the right tool for the job. You can exchange your gadget for a different one that's better suited to the situation. Fuck, the Kelly's got the place shut down. I, the size of this operation is mad. When did Clan Kelly get so big, bruv? You're looking for a terminal or some kind of device that Clan Kelly would have stored the debt records on. While the drone's observing your every move might make you feel like you're living in a city-shaped prison, what's bad news for society is good news for DedSec. You can hack those nosy little buggers and use them to scout ahead. Ah, cannabis and fentanyl together at last through the miracle of genetics. Ah, oh, for real? Yo, I can't even be mad at that. Right, you can erase all record of their debt, putting our new friend back into the black, and more importantly, out of Clan Kelly's reach. Fucking banger. Checking another area. Giving me the run around, asshole. Looks 
Transfer complete. Your good blood, no more Clan Kelly debt. We freed your ass. Wow, I must say, I'm surprised. Thank you. You lot are much better than the news would have me believe. Why don't you join that set? You know you wanna. Consider me in. Yo, what I go on, fam? This is crazy. Still can't believe we're dead sec now. 
No tutorial or anything? <laughs> That's not how this shit works, man. We're just winging it, you know what I'm saying? You know about imposter syndrome? It's that feeling you don't know what you're doing, even when you do. But I actually don't. What if I accidentally say something bad to the wrong person? I wouldn't even know what to do. Yeah, true say. Well, fake it till you make it, I guess. Even if an entire city is counting on you. DedSec resurgence have prompted Parliament to approve the use of lethal... Right. Welcome aboard, etc, etc. I'll give you the speech later. Right now, we need you and your big, strong drone friend to get on top of SRS HQ and steal a server. Think you can handle that? I'm en route. All right, I'm here. I'll highlight the server with the AR reconstruction software. It's out of reach, so you'll need to use a heavy cargo drone to steal it.
All right, I've loaded the server into your vehicle. You're good to go. Try not to drive it off a cliff, hmm? Don't worry, I passed my driving test with flying colours. CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress. This will do. Remain in the area until I've downloaded enough data to the server. Download complete. I need a wider sample of data, so I'm pushing you the coordinates to a new location. Ugh. This is brilliant. Look at this. It's compiling data from the surveillance infrastructure. Nearby CTOS drones, civilian optics, CCTV, and then it assembles those scraps into what happened in this location 24 hours ago. Fantastic. CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress. All right, scraping data from optics, CTOS cameras, microphones, laptops. Say, do you reckon SRS uses this to watch people shag? Fucking hell, do they use it for anything but watching people shag? Transfer complete. I'm missing one last data set. Pushing you the coordinates to the location now.
CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in process. Help bags, they're still on me. Don't let the drones destroy the server before I'm done. Get out of the lorry and take care of them. Shoot them, throw rocks at them, destroy them psychologically with cyberbullying. Just keep them busy until the transfer is complete. this server forever. We should probably wipe our prints off it anyway. Go on. I'll overload the CPUs to cause a power spike and destroy the battery unit. The electromagnetic pulse should destroy both the server and the drones. So, you know, run! fun, wasn't it? We pulled off a heist, made life a bit harder for the tyrants of the world, and most importantly, I got a new toy to play with. Now, run along back to the safe house. Sabine wants you and your new teammates for a briefing. Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that DedSec are fighting along with them. I'm in. I want to take on the profiteers exploiting London for their own gain. Albion's turned London into a full-on occupation zone. We're at war, plain and simple. Don't forget about Clan Kelly. Them fucks have way too much power. I've got beef with them. Fair, but remember that this zero-day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. lead that may help us unravel more about Zero Day and the bombings we ate shit for. I've picked up an encrypted signal from the Tone conference site that's been broadcasting on a loop since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. You might even get to try out that fancy new AR tech we stole. I mean, creatively shared.
God, there's nothing left here. It feels wrong standing in the place where so many people died. And yet all these months later, it's crawling with security. Suspicious, no? Good point. Bagley, what exactly am I looking for? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble. Take this down. into autumn. This is it. The signal is coming from this spider bot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. I'm impressed it's transmitting anything at all in this condition. Where's the rest of it? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. Two more data relays to go.
One more data relay and I'll have it. stream and the video from these 36 and got it go back to where you found that spider bot and i'll show you the ar reconstruction from the night of the explosion i understand CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back for you? Don't cuff the Kelly dog. Wait, Kelly? As in Clan Kelly? So gangsters are behind the bombings? to me like a handoff. The Kellys might just have been a supplier. Interesting. I wonder who they were meeting. She didn't look like Clan Kelly. Does that mean she's part of Zero Day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, can you tell me who was controlling the Spider-Bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the Spider-Bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. Oh, shit. We've got feds thrown into the mix now. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. One to transport. We can do that, right? Or, I don't know, quantum tunnel the space-time continuum? Quantum tunnel technology is at least ten years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Good plan. those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo. Read you loud and clear. Wow, this tech is so cool. RDX nitrogen, and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero days calling card. There, hurry. We've got all the delivery. So you were hired to supply all the cargo? Shut it, we're all on need to know. So Zero Day coordinated multiple groups to commit the bombings. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more.
tracing the Spinobot serial number it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. It's hard to believe the police may have known who the real bombers were all along and never said anything to the public. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. Problem. It looks like Albion overtook the station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. Pretty sure that privatizing the police force defeats the purpose of having police. Not to worry. The only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in. There we go. I think you just made a new friend. If Albion wanted to lock them up, they must be dangerous. And dangerous we can use. Yes, exactly.
Bagley, is that the same spider bot? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you identify the last user? Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. Okay, I'm on it. That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. to get to the next bent opening. How long? When crime fighting is treated like a business, crime will never go away. That would be bad for business, right? So don't tell me Albion has our best interests on our side. If the police could handle their job, Albion wouldn't be necessary. But they can't. The tone bombing is a perfect example. A bunch of lazy, overpaid cops are asleep at the wheel. Well, they're not at the wheel anymore, are they? through this last bent path. Got it. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Hmm, fine.
consider yourself lucky, mate. The Spiderbot fragment you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. A secret location? Fascinating. Let's go find out what we can. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. Bagley, any way to get inside? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. It's quiet and out of the way. A good place to lay low. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. down there, fully stocked with police equipment. Well, if Albion was stomping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. I wonder how their investigation led them to the tone bombing. The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now, since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved, and they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. 
It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Oh, Jesus. Albion was one thing, but now they're working with Clan Kelly too. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. People are being kidnapped right off the streets. We have to stop this. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former DedSec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London-born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's DedSec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sick. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Hmm. Well, the bright side is he's still here. But on the not-so-bright side, he's at the EPC. I haven't heard good things from there. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. <laughs> 